Hey guys, welcome to another episode of All Things PC. Today we're going to be going over my current build and all the stuff in it. Um, my water cooling loop, how I did that, and all that good stuff. So why don't we get started now. Alright, well on the outside, the case is a custom case. It's by Case Labs. It's the SMA8 by Case Labs. And if you can't already tell, this thing is huge. I'm having to step back a little bit just to be able to fit it all in the frame. But it is, it, it's enormous, and it's a great case. It's all aluminum. The whole entire case is aluminum. But just because it's aluminum doesn't mean that it's sturdy. This thing is, is built to last. So, I mean, you get, you seriously get what you pay for. I know it's a hefty price tag, but you get what you pay for when you're getting this thing. So there's the front of it. I'll have to get some better lighting in there so you guys can see it. But why don't we pop her open and let's get started. So it has a little door right here. And these little clips that hold the doors in place. And this door actually comes off. This door right here actually comes off. It's sitting on a hinge. And you just pop it right off. Just like that. And there's the inside. Now, the Case Labs case whenever I ordered it, it actually came all black so all of this right here was black the whole back part was black this was black everything was black I did all this custom paint myself it's just I just taped everything off some white glossy spray paint and went to town on it got it all nice and white because that's kind of the idea I was going for with this build I wanted it to be the interior to be white with this blue uh, pastel color and that's kind of what I was going for with this build. So I'm, I'm thinking the name of it is going to be Project Frost, but I'm still open for ideas. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read all, you, all your uh, suggestions for the name. But let's uh, talk about the motherboard. So this motherboard, I know it's a bit old for this time. But it's actually the Sabretooth Z77 motherboard by Asus, their Tough Series. Um, this is a great, it's a great motherboard. I've had this motherboard for, I don't want to say three years now. And it's been running an overclocked i7-3770K. Uh, it's overclocked at 4.5 gigahertz right now. And it's been running that overclock for almost two years. No problems. Once I got a stable, it was it was uh, there was no blue screening on none of that, but it's it's a great motherboard CPU combo. The uh, memory I have in it is um, by G Skill, it is their Sniper Series. Get in there, yeah, their Sniper Series RAM, and it's running at 1866 megahertz, and that's their OC version as well. So all this motherboard has been running overclocked RAM and over and an overclocked CPU for almost three years, and no problems whatsoever. It's it's a extremely well built motherboard. The graphics cards they are two um, EVGA 980s. They they aren't the TI editions. They have they each have four gigs of uh, GDDR5 uh, VRAM. So total of uh, eight. My sound card down here which I have paired it's hard to see with the tube in the way but I have that paired with my Sennheiser head headset my Sennheiser uh, game zero and this is the Asus Zonar Essence STX I've had that for I want to say two years and it's, it's a good little sound card I think I paid about 130 for it and it uses a external power external uh, Molex power and I also have it plugged into the front front uh, headers on the case so that's pretty much all my components I'll, I'm running um, an SSD 500 gigabyte SSD it's it sits behind this they're all mounted back there I'll, I'll do more of an in-depth review whenever I talk about the case um, but yeah they're sitting back there there's 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD and then I'm running a six terabyte Western Digital Black hard drive. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the like button. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, All Things PC. If you have any ideas, suggestions, comments, or anything I can do to make these videos better for you guys, or any uh, content ideas, things you might want to see, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read through them and implement all your ideas. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.